Hi, this is Inval Navigation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about the monotonic stack algorithm. The monotonic stack algorithm is used to solve problems related to finding the next greater or smaller elements in the array or sequence. The term monotonic refers to the fact that the elements in the stack either strictly increase or strictly decrease. The main idea behind a monotonic stack is to maintain a stack in such a way that the elements in it follow a monotonic order. This helps efficiently solve problems where you need to find the next element, either greater or smaller, that satisfies a certain condition for each element in an array. There can be increasing or decreasing monotonic stack. In the increasing monotonic stack, the elements will be in increasing order from bottom to top. In the same way, decreasing monotonic stack elements will be in decreasing order from the bottom to top of stack. We will see how the increasing order is maintained in the increasing monotonic stack. We have array of numbers such as 12, 42, 31, 26, 54, 23, 18 and 43. Initially the stack is empty so adding the first element 12 to the stack. Next element is 42. Check if 42 is greater than top of the stack, which is 12. Yes. Then add 42 to top of the stack. Here we need to maintain the increasing order. Check the next element, which is 31. 31 is lesser than the top of the stack. So we can't add 31 on top of 42. So remove the top of the stack, which is 42. Then check if 31 is greater than the top of the stack 12. Yes. So add 31 on top of 12. Check if the next element 26 is greater than the top of the stack 31. No. So remove the top of the stack which is 31. Check if 26 is greater than the top of the stack 12 as it is. Add 26 on top of 12. Check if the next element 54 is greater than the top of the stack 26. Yes. Add 54 on top of 26. Check if the next element 23 is greater than the top of the stack 54. No. So pop the top of the stack. Next check. 23 is less than the current top of the stack 26. So no, so remove the top of the stack 26. Then check if 23 is less than the top of the stack 12. Yes, so add 23 on top of 12. Check if the next element 18 is less than top of the stack. No, currently 23 is greater than 18. So pop the top of the stack. Now check if 18 is greater than the top of the stack 12. Yes, so add 18 on top of 12. Check if the next element 43 is greater than the top of the stack. Yes, so add 43 on top of 18. This is increasing monotonic stack. In the similar fashion, we can build the decreasing monotonic stack. For the decreasing monotonic stack, items in the stack must be in decreasing order from the bottom to top. We will use the same array of elements which we have used in the previous example to create the decreasing monotonic stack. Enter the first element 12 to the stack. Since the stack is empty, now check if 42 is lesser than the top of the stack 12. No, pop the top of the stack. No, the stack becomes empty. So add 42 to the stack. Check if the next element 31 is lesser than the top of the stack 42. Yes, add 31 on top of 42. Check if the next element 26 is less than the top of the stack. Yes, so add 26 on top of 31. Check if the next element 54 is less than the top of the stack. No pop the top of the stack 26 again check if the current element of the stack 31 is greater than 54 no so pop the top of the stack 31 again check if the top of the stack 42 is greater than 54 no so pop the top of the stack now the stack becomes empty add 54 to the stack check if the next element 23 is less than the top of the stack 54 yes so add 23 on top of 54 Check if the next element 18 is less than the top of the stack 23. Yes, add 18 on top of 23. Check if the next element 43 is less than the top of the stack 18. No, so pop the top of the stack. Again, check if the current top of the stack 23 is greater than 43. No, so pop the top of the stack 23. Again, check if the current top of the stack 54 is greater than 43. Yes, add 43 on top of 54. This is how we can construct the increasing and decreasing monotonic stack. Now we will see one of the interesting problem which can be solved using the monotonic stack. Trapped rainwater problem. This is a hard lead code problem. The problem statement states, given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1, compute how much water it can trap after raining. 
We will see this with an example. With a given list of bar heights, now if we trap water in this bars, 6 units of water will be trapped as mentioned in this diagram. With another example list of bar heights given in this example, the bar will trap 70 units of water as described in the diagram. Now we will see how to compute the trapped rainwater with the monotonic stack. We need to store the bars in the decreasing order because water holding capacity is based on the highest bar of any subset. We will use the decreasing monotonic stack. We will allow the duplicates. Initially the stack is empty. So add the first element to the stack 1. In the stack we will store the index. Check if the next element is less than or equal to the top of the stack. Yes. Then add this element index to the stack. Check if the next element is less than or equal to the top of the stack. Yes. Then add this element index to the stack. Check if the next element is less than or equal to the top of the stack. No, then pop the top of the stack 1 and this is the top. We will start the computation here. We need to calculate the wall height and then the width. Trapped water is the product of these two values. First we will calculate the width. The width can be calculated by current index minus current stack top index minus 1. The current index is 3 and the current stack top index is 1 minus 1 which is 1. Next we will calculate the wall height. To calculate the wall height, get the minimum of current index value which is 3 and the current stack top value which is 1 minus the top. The top is the element we popped from the stack. Here current top of the stack and current index bar are the left and right of the bar. So here we are trying to determine which is maximum height whether the left or the right wall and then we are getting the minimum value from it because that is the value which it can retain and we are subtracting the top. So the top is in between these two walls so we are subtracting that value. If you subtract that value we will get the water it holds. Here it is minimum of 3 and 1 which is 1 minus 1. So the result is 0. So here if you see we can't trap any water because the minimum of 3 and 1 is 1. So that is left bar is 3 and then the right bar is 1. So maximum we can hold up to 1 bar. In between we have 1 bar height. So we can't retain any water. So the trapped rainwater is 0 because the trapped rainwater can be calculated by multiplying the width into the wall height. Here the width is 1 and then the wall height is 0. So it is 0. Check if the current top of the stack 1 is greater than 3. No. So pop the top of the stack. Mark 1 as top. Calculate the width. Current index which is 3 minus current stack top index 0 minus 1. With this 2, calculate the wall height, get the minimum of left and right bar, which is minimum of 3 and 1, minus top 1, wall height is 0. Trap water result is still 0. Check if the current top of the stack 1 is greater than 3. No, pop the top of the stack, which makes the stack empty. If the stack is empty, that means there is no left bar to retain the water, so skip this. Now the stack is empty, add this index 3 which is element 3 to the stack. Check if the next element 2 is less than top of the stack. Yes, add this 2 to the top of the stack. Check if the next element 1 is less than the top of the stack. Yes, so add this element index to the top of the stack. Check if the next element 0 is less than the top of the stack. Yes, so add this element index to the top of the stack. Check if the next element 1 is less than the top of the stack. 0, no, pop the top of the stack and reference this as top. Now calculate the width, current index 7 minus current stack top index 5 minus 1 which is 1. We need to calculate the wall height, the minimum of left wall and then the right wall which is current index value 1 minus the top 0 which is 1. So the trapped rainwater is the product of wall height and width, it is product of 1 and 1 which is 1. Now we got the trapped water in between these two bars which is 1. Now check the current index value 1 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 1. Yes it is. Then add this element index to the top of the stack. Move to the next element. Check if it is less than the top of the stack 1. No current index value 2 which is not less than top of the stack value 1. So pop the top of the stack 1 and reference it as top. Now calculate the width current index 8. 
minus current stack top index 5 minus 1 which is 2 while it is minimum of current stack top value 1 and current index value 2 minus top value 1 the wall height is 0 the trapped water is previous trapped water 1 plus the product of wall height 0 and width 2 the trapped water is still 1 next check if the current index value 2 is less than current stack top 1 no pop the top of the stack and reference it as top now calculate the width current index 8 minus current stack top index 4 minus 1 which is 3 next need to calculate the wall height minimum of left wall the current stack top value 2 and then the right wall current index value 2 minus the top 1 which is 1 the trapped water is previous trapped water 1 plus product of wall height 1 and width 3 which is 4 check if the current index value 2 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 2 yes then add 2 to the top of the stack check if the next array index value 3 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 2 no pop the top of the stack and reference it as top now calculate the width current index 9 minus current stack top index 4 minus 1 which is 4 next need to calculate the wall height minimum of left wall the current stack top value 3 and right wall current index value 2 minus the top 2 which is 0 so the trapped water is previous trapped water 4 plus the product of wall height and the width 4 which is 4. Check if the current index value 3 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 2. No. So pop the top of the stack and reference it as top. Calculate the width current index 9 minus current stack top index 3 minus 1 which is 5. Next need to calculate the wall height. Minimum of left wall current stack top wall value. 3 and right wall current index value 3 minus the top 2 which is 1. So the trapped water is previous trapped water 4 plus the product of wall height 1 and the width 5 which is 9. Now check if the current index value 3 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 3. Yes. So add 3 to the top of the stack. Current trapped water is still 9. Check if the next array index value 4 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 3. No pop the top of the stack and reference it as top now calculate the width current index 10 minus current stack top index 3 minus 1 which is 6 need to calculate the wall height minimum of the left wall current stack top value 4 and right current index value 3 minus the top 3 which is 0 so the trapped water is previous trapped water 9 plus product of wall height 0 and the width 6 which is still 9 check if the current array index value 4 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 3 no pop the top of the stack and reference it as top now there is no more elements in the stack so that means there is no water to retain because there is no left bar add this element 4 to the stack check if the next array where index value 1 is less than or equal to the top of the stack 4 is then add 1 on top of 4. We have iterated over all the elements in the array. The final trapped water in the boss is 9. The time complexity of calculating the trapped rainwater with monotonic stack is order of n. We will have a quick walkthrough of this with a Java code. This is pseudocode can be coded in any programming language as you wish. First we are initializing a stack data structure and initializing the final answer to 0. For every element in the array we are checking if the stack is empty and checking if top of the stack is less than current index height since we are trying to maintain the decreasing monotonic stack. For every element we are performing this condition till either the stack becomes empty or the top of the stack is greater than or equal to the current index height. Inside the while loop we are popping the top of the stack and storing in the top value. If the stack becomes empty after popping then we are breaking because there is no left wall to retain the water. If the stack is not empty then we are calculating the width and wall height and then calculating the trapped water. The trapped water is the product of width and wall height. After completing the entire iteration we are returning the trapped water. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more on monotonic stack or programming questions refer to my playlist. And thanks for watching this video. For more videos related to computer science, subscribe to my channel.